All right, everyone, so we're going to talk first about some harnesses that you're going to use for here in a climbing gym. So this harness right here is a pretty standard rental harness. You're going to notice that they are very, very adjustable, and that level of adjustability means that there's not a whole lot of padding. So although rental harnesses are going to fit a wide range of folks, it's not the most comfortable harness on the market. So if you're going to be purchasing your own, I would suggest something more like this. This type of harness has a bit more padding. It's still pretty thin, but it's designed to kind of be very lightweight. It's great for something known as sport climbing. You'll notice some other features like these gear loops here in the back that you use to attach all the different types of gear that you'll be using while you're climbing. A third type would be this type of harness, which is similar to the last one, except you'll notice much thicker padding. It's a little beefier. And also a critical difference to note is that on these types of harnesses, they have an additional loop on the front. This loop here is called the belay loop. You also have a section here for your leg loops and a section for your waist belt. So you use these harnesses a little bit differently. Just make sure you check the manufacturer's recommendations for how to use that harness before you start getting after any climbing. Also, these leg loops are adjustable, which is another feature that some folks do like. And really, that's about all you need to know for how to select a harness for, uh, for climbing.